Hi everybody, Patty Ann here. Hang on just a second. You know me and my coffee. Well, I had a request on Facebook from Stacy to show her how to make this cute little card here for Valentine's Day or whatever you want to make it for. Now, I just did a sample. So it's just on this green card stock. It's not gorgeous, but it was just my sample. Um, now, if you want to know how to make the actual paper part, this part with the white around it, I did that in Inkscape, and I do have several tutorials on that. But if you need more information, let me know, and I'll see what I can do to help you. <laughs> so, but if you want to just know how to make this card, once you have this in Cricut Design Space, that's what I'm going to show on this tutorial. So follow me down here at my computer. Okay, the first thing you need to do to get started is just come to my Facebook group. It's up here, Cricut Design Space with Patty Ann. And once you get there, depending on how I'm feeling, this picture may change, but you can see that it's Patty Ann, Cricut Design Space with Patty Ann. Yours might look a little bit different. Mine looks like this because I am in charge of this group, so I can change things that you, I would think, cannot change. But anyway, you just come over here somewhere. It'll say Files. Click on that. And then when you get to the Files section, I have three things so far. The directions for our new little game that we're playing the B mine PNG file and that's what we want and then I have another one that's a PDF file that shows you how to create the offset which is this white border around images in Inkscape so you're gonna click on the one that says B mine and there he is and now you're going to download him and I go to save as and I'm going to save him as patty in B mine test which I've already done before and I'll do it again. Do I want to overwrite it because I've already done it? So I'll just say yes. I can X this out and I can close this. And now I'm going to go to Cricut Design Space, start a new canvas, and I'm going to go to Upload. And I've already done this before because I was practicing, but pretend you don't see those. So I'm going to go to Upload Image. I'll browse to where I have it. And then it is Patty and B Mine Test. Click on it to highlight it and then click Open. And now to select the image type, I'm just going to use Complex and say Continue. And notice that it did come in with that nice white border all the way around it. So I'll go to Continue. Now I'm going to save it as a print and cut because I do need one print and cut image and I also need one that's a cut file only, but I can get that from the print and cut one. So I'm going to say save. I have a few of these saved because I've been practicing, but I'm going to click on the most recent one put a, that puts a green box around it and I'm going to go to insert images. Okay, and here's my image. What I'm going to do with him now is I'm going to duplicate it because I want one to be a print and cut and one, this one right here that I've highlighted, which is the one with the grayer box. I'm going to change it from a print file. You see the printer here? If I click on the printer, a flyout menu comes out. I'm going to change it from print to cut. Okay, so now I have both a print and a cut file on the print file, that's going to be the front of my card that opens up like this. I'm going to want to put a score line right here so it will score. So I think I'll hide the gray one for now and bring him up and come over here to the shape tool. Click on the score line and bring the score line, actually make it pretty large, pretty long. I'm going to bring it over here and I think I'll put it right there between his two legs. Maybe even make it a little tiny bit longer. Okay, then I'm going to click on the score line and click on the object because I want both of them selected and I'm going to say attach. So I'm done with that because 
I'm not going to put any text on the front of this one. I'm going to handwrite something there. So the next thing I'm going to do is I guess I will hide this fellow and bring this one back up. On this one though, I am going to put some text and I'm going to come over here to the text tool. I'm going to come up here and change the style to writing. And I've already done this. The font that I want is called Be Mine. Hit enter, there it comes up. And then I'm going to say, we be dash long. And on the next line, I'm going to write the word together. Exclamation mark. And click, click over here. Now I'm going to bring it up here and it's way too big. I can come up here and change the font size or I can change the font size by using this arrow down here. Another thing I can do if I want to is I can letter spacing. I can move the letters closer together. I can also change the spacing between the lines. You see how, whoopsie, sorry. You see how much space there is between these two lines? I don't really like it like that. So what I can do is I can come up here, let's see, click on this, where it says line space, and I can use the arrows like this. But what I prefer doing is to use this tool right here, the advanced tool, click on it, and it says that I can ungroup to lines, which is what I'm going to do. And then that allows me to move line by line like this. Okay. And I like that a lot better than using the arrow to up and down. Now, remember, we're going to have that, um, what's it called? The score line over here. So I'm going to bring this other guy back up. And I'm going to right click on him and tell him to go to the back. But the reason why I want him there, uh oh, where's his score line? I've got to undo a score line too. There we go. The reason why I want him here is I'm going to line these two things up and I'm going to see where that score line would go to make sure that my lettering is not going to get cut off. You see, if I were to have it, let me zoom out just a bit. And let me pull this down. Let me select it all and pull it down. Okay, so if I were to have this over, this text, <laughs> this text over here, you can see this score line right here, how it will cut off some of it. So that's just why I'm using it right now. So we belong, that looks like that'll fit perfectly there. And then I think I'll move together over like that. And that's pretty much it. That's all I have to do other than let me make sure that I did, um, yeah, attach those. Okay. And the way we can know for sure is just go to make it. And the B has his score line attached. And here, uh oh, look, I must not have the text um, attached because it's all crazy like. So I have to go to cancel. And I'm going to click on this text. I'm going to try to click on the text. There's one, hold the shift key down, click on the other, hold the shift key down and click on the item. And now I have to attach it. So I had to attach all of this stuff together and now it will work if I go to make it. So my first one is the B with the score line and my second one is the gray B, which I'm gonna actually put on white paper. Okay, I'm gonna go print and cut and I'll meet you back here and show you how I put it together. Okay, here's my final card. You remember this one has the words Be Mine on it. This is my first one that I made. Um, this one I didn't put any text on. Now I did have this front of it scored and I've bent it back. And now all I'm going to do is put some hot glue on here to glue this part together because I think that the hot glue uh, sticks really well. So I have my glue here just going to put some hot glue right on here. Right along that line is really, 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 really want it. Really, really. And then 
Move that out of your way. I'm gonna carefully place this down on here. Got it a little bit off. Pretty good though. Okay, so there it is. There's the card. Isn't it cute? And you open it up like that. This is we belong together. I think it's really cute. I like how it's all shaped and everything. I think it's cute. It was easy to make. And then remember, there's also this guy right here too. That's made out of cardstock as well, double sided. And he's shown on another video. But anyway, this is made out of cardstock. This again was the Be Mine um, font, and that's it. I hope this helps. Thanks for joining me, you guys. Give me a thumbs up if you like the videos, and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.